Wasika courtroom was packed this afternoon as the man charged with shooting Eric Matson in the head was sentenced. Matson only returned a few weeks ago back home after being at rehab centers for his injuries. Tyler Janowski, the man who shot Matson, was sentenced to 35 years today. ABC 6 News reporter Brett Backley joins us live from Freeborn, where he's been talking with the community where Matson's, the Matsons live. Brett? That's right, Betsy. Today I spent the day here in Freeborn talking with some of his friends about what they hoped the outcome would be. Now, back in July, Janowski pled guilty to two charges of attempted first degree murder of an officer. And this afternoon, he received 240 months for the first count and 180 for the second. The streets of Freeborn are still lined with support for Officer Eric Matson who works for the police department in Wasika, but resides in the small town of 300. He returned just two weeks ago. He showed up for our council meeting for about 15 minutes and seemed to be in really, really good spirits. He said it's really great to be home and sit in his own chair for a change. Matson is one of four members on the Freeborn City Council and also volunteers on the fire department. He's going to be part of this department as long as he decides you know, he can physically be part of it in whatever capacity um, he can do it. He's part of this community and we're going to, he's going to stay that way. Ten months after being gravely wounded in the line of duty, the man who shot Matson is being sentenced. Once I found out it was his sentencing today, it was kind of looking forward to finding out what it is going to be. I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's a life, life sentence myself. I don't know if it will be that much. It's, it's hard to say. Seems like every judge has a different idea on stuff like that. But I think with it being a, a police officer, I think uh, he'll get a pretty good term anyway. Everybody is entitled to the day in court. It, you know, it was a very tragic situation. I just hope the court system was fair and he serves his time for you know, what happened. And we know now that again that Janowski will serve 35 years in prison. He's already made up 306 of those days. He'll also be forced to pay over $450,000 in restitution. Betsy, back to you.